हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट पेंटागनल पिरामिड सो आवर क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ अ पेंटागनल पिरामिड ऑफ बेस ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम एंड हाइट फिफ्टी एम एम इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ टू ड्रॉ अ पेंटागन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द पेंटागन इफ यू डोंट नो द प्रोसीजर हाउ टू ड्रॉ द पेंटागन देन प्लीज रेफर डैट वीडियो विच विल टेल यू अबाउट how to draw a pentagon okay let us start with this particular question so in this question the very first step is that we should draw the pentagon so side of the pentagon is 25 mm so we have followed the procedure which we have learned in the last class and uh, the pentagon is in front of us so after this we have to enclose this pentagon inside the box so how we will enclose it so we have to align our scale with this base extend it on both sides with thin line place your scale at this corner of the pentagon draw a vertical line then place at this corner of the pentagon draw another vertical line make sure scale is aligned with the grid and at this particular corner of the pentagon draw a horizontal line now you see we are able to enclose this pentagon inside a box so let us erase the extensions and let us quickly name the box and the pentagon so name of the box let us say is a b c d and name of the pentagon is let us say 1 2 3 4 5 so first of all we need to draw isometric of this box a b c d so how to get that isometric first of all draw a line of round 3 to 4 cm by lining your scale with this grid then place your protector on this dot on the line and draw two lines at 30 degree at the start you can draw any length for these two axes we call these two axes as isometric axes so next step is we have to see what is the first name of the box the box is named as a b c d so let us take a point here now we will cut this length a b on this side of the axis with the help of compass then we will cut this length a d on other side of the axis with the help of compass so let us first measure a b now mark that distance here similarly measure this length ad and from a mark that distance on other axis so let us label this as b and this is d now we have to draw the second side bc so how to get that side measure bc from the box and from this point b draw an arc now measure dc from the box and from d mark another arc now what we will do we will join these points with the help of thin line so this is our point c now you see we are ready with the isometric of the box a b c d over here a b c d so what next we will do we have to generate isometric of this pentagon inside this box so what is the procedure you see over here we have a side ab and same side is here marked as ab so in between side ab there are two points 1 and 2 we have to label these two points here so what is the procedure measure with help of compass 1a and mark here 1a similarly measure b2 it will be same distance so mark from b b2 then measure this distance b3 it is in between bc so in between bc mark from b only b3 then in between cd we have d we have point marked 4 so measure c4 and in between cd mark point 4 from c then in between ad we have a point 5 measure a5 
So in between AD from A mark A5. So let us label these points first. This is point number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let us join these points with thin lines at the start. Keep everything thin. Okay, so we are ready with the base of the pentagonal pyramid. Now let us uh, generate its height which is 50 mm. So how to get that? First of all, we need to find the center of the pentagon. So what is the correct method to find the center of the pentagon? Over here, we should draw the medians first. Any two medians you can draw. So from this particular point, draw a thin line which will be perpendicular to opposite side. So then from this particular point, draw a thin line perpendicular to opposite side. So in this manner, you will get the center of the pentagon. So let us label this as O. So from this center, you can uh, transfer this distance with a horizontal line from O, transfer this distance over here. So let us label this point as E. So we have transferred this distance on side AB as with the help of this point E. Now what we will do next, we will again measure AE with the help of compass and from between AD locate that point AE. So from this point we will draw, we mark same same distance from B as well because same distance will be transferred on other side also on BC. So mark from B also. So when you will join these two points So we will get the first center line. Now next is find this distance which is the this point is the mid of AB. So measure this distance from A. Mark the distance here or simply we can say find the mid of AB. Then join this point to this 4 to draw the second center line. So in this manner you will find the center of the pentagon. So from this point we have to draw a vertical line equal to height of the pyramid mentioned. So place your scale on the center in vertical position and from here draw 50 mm thin line which will be the axis of the pyramid. So this is called as apex. So from apex draw lines to all the corners of the pentagon which will act as the slant edges of the pyramid. So let us join this, this these two first then 2 to apex then 4 to apex 5th to apex then 1 to apex. One thing to make sure we have to join the corners of the pentagon only. So after this you see when you will observe this isometric carefully you will find that this edge and this edge 2, 3 and 3, 4 are hidden behind other faces. So we will keep these two thin. Similarly let me label uh, this apex O first. Similarly edge O3 is hidden behind other faces. So we will keep edge O3 also thin. Let us make visible edges thick. So you will find that this particular edge, edge 1, 2 then edge slant edge o 2 then 4 o then 5 4 then 5 o and last 1 o these edges will be visible the other edges 3 4 o 3 and 2 3 will be hidden so we kept those thin so we are ready with the isometric. After this what we need to do? We have to place the dimensions. So for this particular length, this is isometric length. So we will place its dimension. 
so you you will use your roller scale only so align your roller scale with this particular axis roll to this particular point draw a thin extension line then roll to that point draw another extension line so these two extension lines must be parallel to this isometric axis now use your roller scale again align with this particular axis roll back by 10 or 15 millimeters and draw another uh, dimension line add close field arrowhead 3 ratio 1 and over here you will mention its length which is 25 millimeters after that we need to place the height of the pyramid so what is the procedure align your scale with this particular center line 1 mm gap extend it use roller scale and align with this particular axis roll to apex so that you should get another line which will be parallel to the previous one so these two are extension lines these two must be parallel to the isometric axis now in between these two we will draw vertical line which will be the dimension line so it will give us the height of the pyramid so we will write here 50 millimeters so erase the extensions then after that we have to show the angles as well so this is 30 degree here on both sides we have to show the angle this is also 30 degree i hope the procedure of drawing isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid is clear to you thank you very much